Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this evening, I want to go over my top five winter confidence baits uh, for bass fishing. You know, a lot of people have their, their baits for uh, top five, just winter baits in general. I'm just going to go over my top five confidence winter baits, which may not be the same as yours or anyone else's, but these are my confidence baits and what's been working for me uh, the beginning of this throughout the whole winter process as of right now So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over the specifics about what baits why I like to use them uh, I'm not gonna go too far in depth with the line and rods and reels. Just kind of go over the lures I like to use for Winter time bass fishing whether that may be shallow or deep water. So First up, we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be the one and only the net rig and we all know that this net rig from z-man is, is is awesome it catches fish all year long but when it really really gets tough and that sun's shining in the winter time and it's cold and there's just bluebird skies this is when this this net rig just really excels and i have this uh, i believe this is on a uh three eighths ounce Jig head, mushroom jig head, with a little green pumpkin. This is one of my major confidence baits when I just can't get a bite on any moving baits or anything that's this of size, like a bigger worm. Let's go with this mushroom jig head right here from Z-Man and the TRD and the green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is my, my go-to as far as that net rig. All right, next up. We'll move a little bit further into deeper water and shallow water as well. Confidence bait number two. It's gonna be a jig. This is a brush jig. A lot of people like to use uh, football head jigs in the winter time. Me personally, I like this brush jig. It can work just as well. And what this does is it's gonna sit up like so. And these claws here. They're gonna sit up in a defensive position for those uh, winter bass that may be hugging the bottom of that border column. Now, as far as this jig, this is a five out hook. I wanna say this is a one, one fourth ounce or one a half ounce. I'm not sure, I can't really remember, but anyway, these crawls are gonna be the Undertaker Bates crawls, green pumpkin. The darker colors for the winter time because you know that red it just depends on the time of the year it depends on the water clarity it just depends on, on the, the crayfish in general on the bottom of the surface they may be red they may not be but we all know a lot of times they like to feed on the crawls sitting in the bottom so that's confidence bait number two winter bass fishing a jig brush jig number around about 14 and I just, I slaughtered them. I just slayed them that day. I caught about 14 pounds all on the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. This same one in particular. And this is to get a shad color. And as you see, I got those trapper tackle hooks on there. You just can't go wrong with those. In that particular video, I didn't have these trapper tackle hooks on there. I just had the regular mustads that come stock with these guys. But I've been switching them out. These work just as well. But as far as this, why I like to use this, so I can fish it deep, or I can fish it shallow. I can fish around brush, I can rip it through brass. And this color in particular, it just goes well with some of the waters we have here in North Carolina. Confidence bait number three, Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. Number four. This one I've caught, I've caught a few bass here and there, just not a lot lately, but it's been working for me in the winter time. Um, this is going to be the KVD 1.5 flat. Once again, trap tackle hooks. This is going to be in that chili crawl pattern. This is going to go straight down to the bottom and beat off the bottom off of rocks, off of wood, anything that's down there, any kind of structure. And the reason why I want to go with the crawl color in this one is just because, like I said, they may be on that brighter color, that red crawl pattern. And that's what they might be eating. So you just kind of want to bounce between the two, between this and that gives a shad. For me, it's kind of figure out what they want. Confidence bait number 
fortresses. Lastly, but not least, a lot of people use this lure. Um, I'm a little new at it, but I have caught some fish on it here and there. In the wintertime, I've caught some. And the reason why I picked this, the umbrella. This is the flash mob, the umbrella. This is the small size, not like your big ones. You know, I still have the five, the five blades here. The five uh, tentacles, I guess you want to call it. Anyway, it's five of them. And the reason why I'm using this one, the smaller size, is because you can fish it deep or you can fish it shallow. Some of those big ones, you really can't, really can't fish them that shallow. And as for this one, I have an eighth ounce jig heads on each one of them. And as far as my trailers, my, my paddle tail swim baits, I got the Z-Man's minnows. I got white ones. The pearl white ones are all around the edge on the outside and then the middle one I forget the name of this one but as you can see it's a little bit different I'll show you a little bit of a comparison here a lot of times they'll hit that middle one but for the fish that I've caught they've been hitting the outside one the outside ones even hit the white one so got a couple blades got four blades on that and that's what I like to use for my winter confidence base whether it's shallow water or deep water or that mid mid level for bass fishing sometimes it might be suspended <clears throat> excuse me and that's where this comes into play you don't have to drag it or swim it across the bottom you can kind of figure out where they are hit that that range where they might be hanging in about that six or seven eight eight uh eight feet of water when a, when a major when a the depth is about 10 or 12 they could be hanging there so that kind of covers all the bases you know i got i got my net rig i got my jig i got my rattle trap the kvd 1.5 flat that flat side gives it a tight wiggle and then i got the flash mob junior the junior size so guys uh these are my five confidence winter baits and uh, I stress that word confidence because everybody has their five baits or maybe their 10 baits or, or 20, whatever you want to call it. But I have my five confidence baits, baits that I have confidence in when it's when, winter time. And confidence, as we know, is it's the key. That's the key to being a successful uh, angler on the water. You got to have confidence in the baits you use. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Hit me up in the comment section below if you have any questions. Uh, hit that bell for future videos in, in the future. Uh, hit that like, and, well, subscribe and like this video. And guys, we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.